and it says adjust R35 input offset for reading of 0 plus or minus 1 millivolt, 0.1 millivolt. I don't think you're going to get it any closer than that. I'm going to adjust R35 input offset. That's this part here. On the um, meter for zero volts. And we're not looking at this meter, we're looking at the uh, HP meter here. Okay. That's zero volts. And then Connect the DC voltmeter to the output jack of the audio analyzer, which is So it says um, connect the audio output, adjust AR, I keep saying that, A6R62 output offset for zero volts. Well, you can see it's more or less on zero volts anyway. Output offset is this pot here. So that's for zero volts. Okay, that's not making any difference. I'm on the right pot. the right place. Ah, oh, because I've got it connected still to the loops. Okay, I'll try again. Output offset doesn't make any difference at all. Why is that? something wrong here, connect the DC voltmeter to the output jack of the audio analyzer. Output jack. What's the output jack? Does it mean the monitor or does it mean the high output? Yeah, doesn't make a lot of sense that. Output jack. Output offset. Nope, not getting any change at all on that. So what's the output jack? Okay, this is voltmeters is test point six five. Hmm. Okay, the DC voltmeters the output jack of the audio monitor. Just Output offset, which is that one. Zero volts in the output. Well, it's DC volts, it's connected. The out low output on that doesn't say, but I'm getting adjustment now. There we go. So I was on the I'm on the low output now, not on the high output. So that's set that to zero. It's not very clear. It just says output jack. There's two output jacks. It doesn't specify. It normally says high output. I must admit, and this time it's just said output. So I'm assuming this means the low output. We're getting a response now, so that's fine. I don't know if you get that to zero, as close as you can. So that's set. All right. Uh, set the volt. Um, set the voltmeter to read AC volts. On, 
on your GL analyzer key in amplitude 6 volts amplitude 6 volts and adjust AR5 A5R102 output level for 6 volts on the display it's 6 volts so that's fine, I'm not going to adjust that set the audio analyzer's frequency to 100 kilohertz amplitude to 50 millivolts LP filter to off set output LP filters to off um, set output switch to float output switch float disconnect the AC voltmeter from the high output jack that's strange because it was on the first one, that's what I don't understand. On the audio analyzer set 6 volts adjuster. Output level for 6 volts has described. On the audio analyzer set frequency 100 kilohertz, 50 millivolts amplitude, low pass filters off, set the output and float switch. Output switch to float, disconnect the AC voltmeter from the high output jack, catches the low output, connect the low Connect, well, connect the low output to the high input. Low output to high input. Oh, this is getting a bit. so it, it was as it suggested a high okay so that's connected to the high up and no input uh, the, uh, so we're 100 kilohertz AC volt meets the high output connect the low output to high but just C31 HF balance so the plate's fully mesh so we're, we're looking at A6C. That's this tuning cap down here. We should go through a minimum. Adjust RC31 for a minimum display. If the adjustment goes does not go through a minimum, change anything. So basically, it says adjust that for a minimum display. Okay, I think that's about as best we're going to get there. Alright, so, well, I think that concludes the uh, entire calibration of this uh, Hewlett Packard audio analyzer. There are a few things in there that aren't actually that clear, especially specifically where it tells you to connect it to an output jack here which part of the final setting up procedure it says get the DC and voltmeter to the output jack well it doesn't tell you which output jack um, I think it is the high output jack but you need to be absolutely sure um, certainly didn't seem to get any adjustment when I was doing that um, so I need to sort of verify that but when I connected to one of the, I think it was the low jack, I did get the reading to read zero, which is obviously correct. And it's basically working now, um, all seems to be absolutely fine. It's fully calibrated, 
That's right, and I'm quite happy with the results. It basically did what I was expecting. It, nothing was a mile out. I'm always suspicious if there's a there's a problem where there's you had to adjust something a long way to get it in. I'm always thinking you're doing something wrong, but there wasn't. Everything was very very close. Um, so thanks for watching. I haven't done the synad meter. If I can find a meter that I know the distortion figure of, I'll have a go at doing that. But um, hopefully this will be a useful piece of test equipment, certainly for testing amplifiers and things like that. And I uh, hope it might be interest of anyone else who's going to intend on uh, trying the calibration procedure themselves. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I hope it wasn't too boring.